Hey everybody, it's DG Tronic and I'm back with another Apple Motion 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make a simple and animated lower third. Lower third is a piece of graphic that you usually see on TV shows or on network television where it contains a person's name or a station ID and logo or some information about whatever it is you're watching um, on the screen like a music video name, the name of the artist, or whatever. And it's called the lower third because it covers up the lower third portion of your screen. Now, keep in mind, lower thirds can be done in many different ways. So this is not the only way to do them, but this is a simple way that I'm going to show you guys how to make an animated lower third. For the purposes of this project, we're going to use the pen tool right here. Now, if you click and hold down on the pen tool, you get two different options, Bezier or B-spline. For this tutorial, we want to use the Bezier option. And then we go up here and somewhere off the viewing area, we'll click for the first point. And then for the second point, we'll go into the viewing area and anywhere you want on the viewing area, you will put the second point. And as soon as you do, you'll get these handles to control the curvature. Any way you want. And for the third point, we'll move off the viewing area again, this way. And we can control the curvature again, any way we want. And then we'll just close it off. And as soon as you get the whole shape done, at first what motion does is give you the white color for the, for the fill color. But if you go to the shape tab here, which we have already opened, you get a plethora of different options to tweak around, including the fill mode, which you can change from color, which what it is right now, to gradient and even though gradient looks cool and awesome I want to choose color for this demonstration and I want to change the initial color of this graphic from white to something more vibrant and nicer so let's just choose red now let's say you want to animate the color what you do is you record, so you press the record button right here. You move the player head to anywhere you want on the project, let's say three seconds. And then you move the color picker from this position to any position you want it to be. And then another three seconds, let's say, or however much of time you want. We'll go to another vibrant color, let's say deep blue. And again, another three seconds. We'll change it to this nice green. Move the player head again. change it to this yellow and go to the end and change it back to the red. We'll stop the recording now and we'll play it back to see what it looks like. Keep in mind when you play back on motion it's not with the regular speed it's going to be slowed down so the speed you see now is not the final project's speed. It's way slower. When you change this to a video file, that's when you'll see the actual project speed. So this is really slowed down right now. So this is how the color is going to change with the animation we picked nice vibrant colors now let's say you want to animate the shape of the lower third you can easily do that again just press the record button 
move the player head anywhere you want. A little bit more than three seconds. Come up here and grab and move the point anywhere you want and adjust the curvature in any shape you'd like. Move it forward another maybe three seconds or so. Come up here again. Move the point wherever you want. And you can change the curvature one more time. Move the player head again. And go towards the end. Alright, and then you can stop recording after you're done with what you'd like to do and play it back and see what happens. Again, the playback is in very slow motion. It's not the final speed of the video project. Keep that in mind. And as you noticed, I didn't make this a looping animation. When it goes towards the end and comes back to the beginning, there's a jump. Keep that in mind because if you want to make it a looping animation, there's some more steps involved, which uh, I may actually um, talk to you guys about in a different tutorial video. See, it's going to jump now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic for all your tech related interests, unboxing videos, app review videos, tutorial videos, gadget reviews. Subscribe to youtube.com slash dgtronic. I will see you in the next video.